Well, swine flu. Okay, they find a five-year-old young Mexican kid who claims to be, they claim to be the first person to have contracted the swine flu. Now, this little boy, he's all right. He's cool. You know, he looked like little Elian Gonzalez. You know, he's cool. The little boy's cool. And um, they're saying that there's a, an American company upwind from them or downwind from them or something like that. And this American company, they deal with pigs or whatever. And they're contaminating the water, the air, and the soil. I just saw this on the news. If this is true, and this town is ground zero for the swine flu, and they're tracing it back to an American company, come on, people, we got to wake up. Because if that same company is processing food and sending the food over here, and they're from the exact same town where, you know, it's ground zero for swine flu, where are those products? What are those products? What is that company? So I can avoid that. I don't give a damn about somebody wanting to sue me because I'm saying don't eat their stuff because it might be contaminated. Um, Vice President Biden, he made some statements that he told his family not to get on airplanes, don't go on the subway, and don't be on trains. Try to stay away from loud crowds, long, big, large crowds. And people are saying that he's trying to push fear on people. Well, if you turn on the news and every other thing is swine flu, swine flu, you can't blame the vice president for telling his family to do what they're supposed to do. I'm the only one in the house and I'm washing my hands with sanitizer. When you make people scared and paranoid, what do they do? They panic. And the last thing you're supposed to do in any situation is panic. When you panic, it goes bad. So, I'm going to call this the Muslim flu. But Muslims don't eat pork. This disease affects people that don't eat pork way more than it affects people that eat pork. So when I first hear about this thing, I'm like, Mexico, I love carnitas. And mostly all the Mexican people I know eat carnitas. And that's pork. If this doesn't affect people that eat pork that, mad, that bad or at all, why is there so many Hispanic people in Mexico or Mexican people coming down with this? And why is it creeping across the borders through the Hispanic community or people who have been to you know, Mexico or you know what have you. Now we got the Pride Day parades coming up. I think it's soon. Tomorrow? So whatever. And there's a lot of Hispanic people go to these parades because you know they have their banners and they won't, you know, put it like this. This is the equivalent to the sixties marches, these parades. You know, they, they want their freedom up in here and their respect, and they march for it like we used to march for our, and see what they got us. So, um, getting back to the swine flu, it's just they're trying to quarantine these parades now, I'm hearing. It's like, oh, maybe you shouldn't let them parade. Maybe we should close the borders. I'm like, close the border for what? You close the border between the United States and Mexico, it'll just get worse here. And because if anything is coming from this factory, when this boy's, I'm not even gonna go say the name of the town because I don't want to get sued by the factory. So, um, if any of this is true, they're saying that the the grounds, everything contaminated, and everything, you can't fix it by separating the Mexicans from the Americans. It's just another excuse to blame a group of people for something that's most likely man-made, and. They're working on a vaccine to distribute amongst all the people. And they should happen in about a month. And if this is anything like uh, the bird flu that 
pandemic. They thought it was going to be the bird flu. Who's to say they're not going to just switch the labels on all these boxes of stuff they already got infected and crossbreed the hell out of some shit and kill people? I don't know who they are. I don't know why they do what they do. But apparently they have a reason for whatever they reasons are to do what they do. Let them do what they do, but you be safe. So if you people want to go out and, and, and join the pride parade, I've been in a couple of them. You want to go out there and do your parade thing, they're um, requesting that if you feel sick, stay at home. Now, how many people going to stay at home? Now, I would sure hate to see an epidemic break out in the Hispanic community because I live in a Hispanic community. And if, why am I thinking? What am I thinking? And if um, uh, outbreak breaks out in, quote me if you want to, pockets of Hispanic communities, I don't see anything good coming of it. I see people being rounded up and identification being checked and I see people being deported. I don't see people being rounded up to help them at all. Um, I don't know if this video makes any sense to anybody. I'm just talking. But um, when you think of it, an American company in ground zero, swine flu, water poison, air pollution. Haven't we heard this story over and over and over again? Big company moves into a small town, pollute everything around it, and once people start getting sick, they end up leaving. Well, there might be some jobs coming back to America soon. That wasn't funny. But I just want people out there to stay safe, wash your hands, and hey, go down there and get you some of them dust masks, because if you're going to be in a room full of people, it's better to be safe than stupid. I had jury duty the other day. And I was scared to death when people start coughing. I'm like, mm. what are you doing? <laughs> oh, the guy said, oh. Mm. Well, you guys be safe, though. For my um, Hispanic community, for my Mexican folks out there, um, you know, keep your head up and. Uh, Damn. Can't even think of a whole damn sentence in Spanish to say. Well, wash your hands. Now, the sanitizer, it kills germs without water. Now, germs build the immune system. We have been killing germs since antibacterial about five or six, maybe about ten years ago. They came out with all this antibacterial stuff. One thing I learned is if you don't get sick and you constantly wash your hands and everything and all this and that stuff, when you do go around people who don't do all that stuff, people tend to get sick because over the last few years, they've been killing germs. The same germs that come in contact with your body your body's computer breaks them down and fights them. It creates certain antibodies for certain germs. If your body doesn't get a chance to see certain germs and one, one a germ hits it that it does not recognize or it has no components to, sometimes your body does not know what to do. And we as a people, we break our necks to be clean and da 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 da, brush your teeth and da 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 da. Your mouth has more germs in it than any other part of anything on the planet. You see what I'm getting at? Strengthen your immune system. Roll around in the dirt. Go wash your face. See you later. And somebody asked me for this, so I got to break him off. Because a true, a true watcher of the real AIX understands the video ain't over until you've been tubed.